All right, guys, so I have a to-do list today. Uh, I'm gonna clean my engine bay, which I'm gonna run to Walmart to get some detailing stuff. Uh, it's really just gonna be like trim restore for the plastic pieces and some degreaser wipes, you know? Um, I also wanna get some Bondo and a paint marker so I can start prepping my the body of the Camaro for paint. Uh, yeah, that should be about it. I'll catch you guys in a minute. All right, guys, I uh, had to get the essentials, so now let's go get some Bondo. All right, so I don't really know anything about uh, bodywork on cars. The rear part of the Camaro is part fiberglass, part metal, so body filler, body filler should work. I'm really just doing like a few small cracks and one small hole in the door. This should work. All right, guys, so I figured out that actually wasn't recording that entire time, it was about five minutes worth. So, we're gonna just quickly go through this again. I had a paint marker, and I marked out, or at least I outlined where the cracks were that I need to fill in with the Bondo. Um, this part right here, I started setting it down for paint, and didn't end up not having enough paint to cover the whole car, but I really just sprayed on black paint, as you, you guys can tell, like here's like the original paint, here's all the clear coat, it's still kinda shiny, and then here's where I sprayed it down. Now what I'm going to do this time is actually paint the car right. I'm going to sand it all down, put a uh, primer, and then I'm going to put um, the actual uh, paint, or at least the base coat on top of it, and then clear coat it. Try to do it right, so i got to learn how, because I graduated from college as an automotive technician. Not any, I had nothing to do with body work. Um, so it's just going to be a learning process for me. So I'm not going to worry about the uh, bumpers, because I'm getting new ones because this one has a huge gash in it, the rear bumper looks awful, and I'm, I just feel it'll be easier to get, just get new bumpers. Um, there is a dent here that I'm gonna le learn how to pull out. If I can't learn to pull this out, I'm just gonna um, put a shit ton of Bondo on it and make it line back up with uh, this piece right here. We got another dent right here, and it kind of, kind of a dent right here. Well, not kind of, it is a dent. So I got a little, as you guys can see, kind of like concaves in that way versus on this side where it doesn't. So I'm either gonna learn to pop those out or if they sell this whole piece right here, I'm just gonna buy it. Now this is too expensive, then I'll just sand this out. But yeah, I have the scratches marked out, the hole I need to repair. And as for body work, I think that's gonna be it with just, just sanding it down and prepping it for primer. All right, so now we're just gonna clean the engine bay. What I'm gonna do after I take out the battery is I'm gonna basically divide the engine in half. I'm gonna do this side first, and then I'm gonna do that side. Um, I got that trick from Chris Fix, because he has really good videos, and I'll post a link down in the description of which video I used. So I'm gonna get started. <laughs> Alright guys, so fun fact, I was trying to take out the battery and then I find out that it's actually too big. Um, I don't know why I never noticed this before, but this HUD support part right there, uh, right there, has actually been hammered down and is dipped in way more than it should be. Um, so I guess the previous owner hammered that down and then pulled it up because I can't clear the AC lines to get the battery out, so I have to hammer that down to get that out. I'm not going to do that, I'm honestly just going to disconnect the battery. And then in a later video, I'm actually gonna mount the battery in the rear of the car. So for now, I'm just gonna have it disconnected. And actually before I even continue uh, cleaning, I'm gonna take my car over to my buddy's house so I can use the shop back because mine is broke. Thank you. 
Okay, so here's the engine made clean. As you guys can tell, it's a lot better than it originally was. I'm gonna throw a picture on the screen how it was before. And here ha here's how it is afterwards. Uh, there's still a lot of parts I can clean up, uh, especially right here. I'm gonna take that battery out and relocate it to the back and fix that mount up. Next video, I'm gonna start working on the body so we can start the painting. And I'll catch you guys then. Just me, just you, the last